What's up everybody, Andy from Par for the Course Cards here wanting to do a quick unboxing of 2019-2020 Panini Illusions Basketball. This is a mega box. Uh, Illusions Basketball is a retail only product. Um, they do not have any hobby boxes uh, at, the, at your local card shop. Uh, instead you will be able to find these at Walmart. Uh, I believe they have Mega Boxes, Blaster Boxes, and a Fat Pack or Cello Pack uh, configuration. This Mega Box has 10 packs. It's 6 cards per pack. Retail is approximately 50 bucks. Um, was fortunate enough to find one at my local Walmart. Grabbed it and uh, wanted to see what it was about. So, just want to do a quick unboxing. Um, there are Starlight Parallels in the mega boxes as well as sapphire inserts which sounds promising mega box exclusive sapphire and yellow parallels so let's take a look and uh, see what illusions has to offer with retail product being so hard to find uh, just felt fortunate uh, and hobby stuff being as expensive as it is 50 bucks might not be a good or might be a pretty good price point um, it, uh, given that you can find some in stores so from what i understand illusions is a foil based product it's not like chrome uh, but it's more foil based so you want to think like uh, revolution basketball um status um what what else is there uh, essentials that was in chronicles basketball uh, was another example so here we go let's get to it all right right off the bat super colorful super bright Not bad. Uh, PJ Tucker. Oh, look at that. An auto right off the bat. We have Mario Hazonia for Portland Trailblazers. Trophy collection. Mario Hazonia. Blazers sticker auto, which is to be expected in retail basketball followed by Chris Middleton Torian Prince and rookies of Carson Edwards and Niccolo Melli uh, first impression right off the bat is that the cards are pretty decently made uh, I can see grading being a very big challenge for these cards. But again, super bright, super reflective with that foil, that rainbow foil. So we got two rookies in that uh, in that pack. Thomas Bryant, Paul George. This is a career lineage, Ray Allen. Okay, so this style is a little bit different. Uh, looks like it's foil, partial foil. But colors look great. Uh, embossed type of look. Uh, so it gives it a little bit of texture. We got Luke Kennard, Danny Green, and a PJ Washington Jr. Uh, still have not seen any of the Mega Box exclusive parallels. No. Let's see if we can uh, run into one here in the next couple packs. Dennis Schroeder, Blake Griffin, Kevin Knox. Uh, this one's a little bit of a different color. There is no numbering on this one. Not that I see. Carl 
Carmelo Anthony, Della Dova, and Daniel Gafford is the rookie. So it looks like you get one or two rookies per pack. Looking for sapphire and yellow parallels. Maybe this was a sapphire. Then the Knox. And the Middleton. I guess we'll find out. Dylan Brooks, Clay Thompson. We have a numbered hit. Anthony Davis, season highlights. Number to 199. Kind of a cool looking card. Uh, same as before, embossed. With partial foil in the background. Joe Ingles, Kyle Guy, and Eric Pascal. So rookies up to now have been very underwhelming. I don't think we've gotten any decent rookies yet. Alfred Payton, CJ McCollum, Kyrie Irving, and we have Harry Giles the third, JJ Reddick, and Brandon Clark. Lonzo Ball, Josh Akogi, Malcolm Brogdon. I believe this is Sapphire. Bismack Biombo. Uh, Tyler Hero and Bruno Fernando. Tyler Hero playing well in the bubble playoffs. So that's a pretty decent card right there. Set that off to the side. Bring Bruno over here. All right, Pascal Siakam. Isaac. Here's a Rui Hachimura with the Washington Wizard logo. And get this to focus. Not focusing. Davis Bertans and Admiral Schofield. The next. All right. Bogdan Horford, Cobb and Gelly Sapphire rookie, I guess. Jeff Teague, Nas Reed, and Taco Fall. Again, a lot of these rookies have been very underwhelming. Let's see what we can get out of these next last couple packs. De'Aaron Fox, Colin Sexton. Here's a Jason Tatum clear shots hit. Uh, this seems to be I don't know, Sapphire Parallel. Of sorts. And it is clear see through. It's kind of cool. Karis Levert, Nikhil Alexander Walker, and Jordan Poole. So rookies continue. Rookie drought continues. 
right, last pack. We have Josh Richardson, DeAndre Ayton, and Shining Stars, Devin Booker. Another one of these uh, clear see-through cards. Kind of cool. Uh, it appears that surface on the back here will be an issue with scratches. Paint came off, looks like, on the back there. So there's that. Uh, Lou Williams, Alex Caruso, and Isaiah Roby is your last card. So to recap, uh, the cards look great. Um, I do like the foil. Foil in general, I'm a fan of. Um, just because of the look that it gives. But in terms of the cards that we got, um, these rookies were pretty underwhelming. Um, this Rui was nice. We had a Tyler Hero. Uh, but it seems like... I mean, you got Bruno Fernando here. Um, it seems like the stars in general, and I'm talking like, you know, your mega stars are going to be kind of tough to come by. Gafford, Blake Griffin, PJ Washington Jr. And when I mean superstars, I'm talking, you know, LeBron, Steph, Luca, Trey, um, who else? Kevin Durant. Uh, it seems like these types of those types of players are going to be tough to come by. Anthony Davis is probably your biggest quote unquote star uh, that we got. And in terms of the rookies, I mean, judge for yourself. Cobb and Gelly, Sapphire, Tyler Hero was probably our best rookie. Uh, that we got Carson Edwards, Melly, PJ Washington, Gafford, Kyle Guy, Pascal, Brandon Clark, Bruno Fernando, Schofield, Nas Reed, Taco Fall, Jordan Poole, Nikhil Alexander Walker, Isaiah Roby. So, I mean, maybe it was just a bad box. Um, that happens, stuff like that happens. We did get an auto, Mario Hazonia was our auto. So give me your thoughts on what you thought about Illusions. Uh, has your experience with Illusions been similar? Uh, would love to know. Um, just based on this mega box alone, I would probably keep it on the shelf, leave it on the shelf, uh, maybe just join in a break or something instead. Um, but for a cheap fun rip, um, if that's what you're looking for, I would say not, not terrible. Uh, my score, I'll give this a six and a half out of ten. I just give it some points just because I love the look of the foil. Um, some of these inserts are pretty cool. Uh, these clear ones are nice. Uh, I thought they were nice. Uh, the embossed partial foil. Inserts I thought were pretty cool. Um, but other than that, it seems like good players are hard to come by. Good rookies are hard to come by. Um, but who knows? Maybe I just got a bad box. But thanks a lot, guys. Please leave a comment. Hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts on this video. If you would like to see more, drop some requests down below. And I'll see what I can do in terms of doing a unboxing of that as well. So thanks a lot, guys. Much appreciated. Take care. Peace.